Now these are extreme modifications, power and aero. These are the quickest and fastest cars that you'll see here at Time Attack that are going to be competing. And uh, get the signal to go. Come onto the uh, track. We'll uh, bring you up to speed, ladies and gentlemen, some times when we get them. But uh, sit back and enjoy, I think, is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, word of the, day. the order of the day. Turn up on the bank in the other side of us. Uh, your chance for the cameras. You might get them together if they come out of Barn Corner. But then I expect to see uh, a bit of uh, overtaking as they come down the main start finish street, maybe. Every time you go to that ignition button, and the next button is the start button, is excitement, adrenaline. Um, but also, the more I drive it, and the more I kind of grow into it, the better it feels. The better it feels, the more confidence it gives you. The more confidence it gives you, the faster you want to drive it. It is like a drug. My driving position is, is, is just perfect, really. When Matt started to design and build the car, Right back at when there was simply just a floor pan there, uh, he, he had me down and, and sat me in a seat and put everything where where it was needed, where I wanted to. Basically, the car's been designed around me, so my, my, my driving position is, is absolutely perfect. My vision over the bonnet, all my instrumentation is, is perfectly within view and, and within in reach. There was nothing here I'd change it. Say so it's been a very kind of bespoke around the driver build, that's for sure. Because, yeah, it's, it's ideal. The car is fitted with a, a Subaru 2 litre um, closed deck block, and uh, all the internals within it are our own parts that we've um, designed and have made in this country. It makes 770 horsepower uh, with a maximum RPM of 9,250. We run eight injectors to get uh, all the fuel in, and quite a large Garrett GT94 turbo. Stopper 1 didn't really have any aero on it at all, uh, it just was very quick in a straight line and then Ollie used to sort of bully it around the corners, um, whereas with Gobstopper 2 we wanted to make something that was more, uh, more track focused and uh, the corner speed really being the key to its, uh, its results. It's a totally different driving sensation when you, the faster you drive this one, you can feel the downforce. It's like the Lord is pressing you into the tarmac. It is an incredibly stable sensation that you get. Whereas the old car, Gobstopper 1, was very brutal. Um, obviously, there's no real emphasis on aero. So the car was a lot more nervous. Um, so you had to be a, a, um, a lot more prepared, ready with your opposite lock if it were to get out of shape. Gobstopper 2 is totally different in that you can concentrate on your entry speed, your corner speed and not have to worry about the, the car stepping out on you and getting ready with, with, with opposite lock. So we've sacrificed quite a lot of straight line speed with the new car uh, for, for cornering speed. So far the car has performed um, very predictably um, and wants to work with you as opposed to fight you and I think that's, that's one of the big improvements with the second gobstopper over the first one. Definitely the faster you drive it, the safer it becomes because the faster you drive it, the more grip you have. 
and that's definitely evident for the, the, the small amount of high speed running that we've done. Um, it wants you to drive it fast because it's convincing you that that's the safest way to drive it. Sounds mad, but it's it, so far it, it, it's, it's true. On my hot lap, um, the, the, the things that are most apparent to me, certainly in terms of controls, are the use of my, keep an eye on my rev counter, my gear position, and also I've got my shift lights on the, uh, on the top of the steering wheel there, um, so I can kind of optimise when I change gear. Obviously I've got my, my paddle shift where I can go up and down the box. Um, with this car also, because of the, the gearbox, um, I can left foot brake uh, quite effectively. The gearbox is a six speed sequential gearbox with a Zytec paddle shift uh, automated system. You use quite a close ratio setup on the new car to help um, keep the car pushing through the uh, against the aero basically. And also I've got my uh, my happy switch, my nitrous switch um, if I, if I need to use it to, for the final push in the final. It's all within easy reach, so the car's been totally built around me, so it, it's the perfect layout, really.